Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Maltu Game Station. This is our career mode video of Newcastle United. It's been a month after last video, and it's our fifth episode, and it will be interesting. So stay with us till the end of the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed this channel yet. It's much appreciated, my friends. So in the last episode, we completed our match day 12, and we were on the fifth position. Liverpool is in the top. So our match day 13 is against Chelsea. It's very difficult to win over the side, but they are not in form as they are the 10th in the points table. Let's dive into the action. The cameras are fixed to one man. Three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. This is EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Newcastle United taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Kieran Trippier starts. In with a chance. It could be up for grabs. And he's kept it out. The only goal from the corner was enough to grab three valuable points. We are on the fourth position with 28 points, only two points behind the top side. Our next opponent is Manchester United. Too many though matches are in this episode. Let's see who performs better.
It's always special to win by 3-2, especially when it's a comeback. We believe in and we are to keep the momentum. So it's match day 15 against Everton. Let's jump into the match. This is it, a can't miss game and a backdrop to match the special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Big characters on the big stage, what a prospect. Don't go anywhere, all the action coming up next on EA TV. Welcome on a big football night here at Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be up against Newcastle United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the team for Everton. Well, in this 4-5-1, the striker has to threaten the space in behind just to stretch the opposition. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. Well, it might... Well, for Newcastle United, it certainly was a good performance and result in the last match against Manchester United. How might this one? And he might be through here. Well, plenty of support here. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So Everton, and the ball in behind the defenders. Just needs to stay calm. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense... Well, as the replay shows, it all started with that perfectly weighted ball over the top of the back line. And the finish is so clinical. He just rolls it past the keeper, cool as you like. So back underway. Long start, and it's opening up. Oh, that... And there's the delivery. Well, he failed to deliver that time. Almiron. Can't miss, surely. Oh, that's a fine time to be added on. Wilson, is this the moment? Oh, yes, it's gone in. And now a chance for... Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. into the second half the story of the foot this is looking threatening oh in with a chance and that question has been answered well i'm all for players striking through the back of the ball with power but he has really good attacking play now veering in field and the keeper there to deal with it trying to deliver it accurately see it again it's a superb cross just asking for someone to go and meet it which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end it's a really good goal well no wonder he's delighted they're bossing the game it's there for him and there it is a goal but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They he knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Goals and... Given them a can they use their pace? 
Terrific block. And there goes the final whistle and the final outcome, a victory for the Magpies. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, they were the better. It was a proper dominating performance and a huge win. But the bad news is, Colum Wilson is going to leave the club in the coming transfer window. There was a misunderstanding between the club and the him. Our last match of this episode is against Tottenham Hotspur. It's an away game. It's very challenging for such reason. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. Well, the weather is absolutely perfect here at the home of Tottenham Hotspur in London. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Newcastle United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play in a track. Big opportunity. And there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. Kane. Well, not a million miles. Well, at this stage of the oh, season... Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. Well, some... Harvey Barnes. And return to Wilson. He's in here. Main priority to hit the target, but couldn't do so. Well, he'd certainly like to have that back again. That was a big chance missed. Who can he pick out? And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. Here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Kane. A goal! And it's... Adding up all the stoppages. We will have two extra minutes. Breaking at pace. Harvey Barnes, well he has players waiting at the back post, oh it's in, a two goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. The replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, and then what a great finish as well, good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance, it's a great goal. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. Wilson. Is this the moment? Still alive. Wilson. Magnificent defending. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Oh, he looks threatening. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Real chance. Well, fantastic. And there goes the final whistle and the final outcome, a victory for the Magpies. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant Back-to-back 4-1 victory. Our players are dreaming of finishing at the UCL spot. We are at the third place with same points to the league topper. There is only goal difference. Hervey Barnes is the top scorer for Newcastle United. So it's all today. See you in the next episode.